Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you get a thumbs up. Apparently, you can make slime without glue or borax, and today we'll be testing out these viral recipes. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's check out this first recipe. This recipe is the most viral recipe I've ever seen. Let's check it out. So it looks like he's adding many bottles of Pantene shampoo into this box. That's a lot of money right there. Then he's adding some table salt and then giving that a good mix. And then after three hours in the freezer, it should turn into this amazing clear slime. To be honest, I was the most skeptical about this recipe. Let's try this recipe out so you don't have to. Everyone always uses Pantene, so that's why I have Pantene, but I'm pretty sure other shampoos also work. Whoa, it is so thick. Oh my gosh. It looks so slimy. It looks like frog juice. And this is like our glue substitute, so I'm gonna pour in a good amount. It even looks like clear glue. For the activator, we will be needing salt. I have this iodized salt. I heard this one works best. The goal is to not add too much. I put in about one spoon total. Let's mix this thing up. Whoa, it looks like it's actually activating. It reminds me of lip gloss. I might need a bit more. Okay, that's it. I'm really not a fan of this musty color, so I'm gonna add in some neon pink food coloring. One drop should be good. Mixy mixy. Now we're supposed to leave it in the freezer for three hours. I wanna test it right now to see a before and after. It feels pretty slime-like already. I definitely have high hopes for this. Let's run to the freezer. Okay, let's place this thing in our freezer. While we wait for three hours, let's go try out some more no-glue slime recipes. Let's take a look at this next recipe. How to make cloud dough. Start with two parts cornstarch or two parts flour. Either will work. Add them to a mixing bowl. Then she added in some lotion, some blue food coloring, and some shaving cream. After kneading that together, you should end up with a fluffy butter slime. I've got my ingredients, which you can probably find around your house, so let's get started. Paint or food dye is optional. I'm gonna grab my bowl, and now let's dump out some cornstarch. My sister used up like all my cornstarch. Bruh. Don't worry you guys, I came prepared. Let's put in a few scoops of this white powder. Now we'll be needing a ton of shaving cream. Delicious. That should be good. White slime is warm, so we're gonna add in some purple paint. It's like juicy blueberry syrup. This looks like a purple cream pie. Yummy! Now let's mix. This experiment right here is 10 times fluffier than my blanket. Cream cheese do. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right. Maybe I have to start kneading, but it's definitely giving ring or marshmallow look. It's time to take off my rings and get messy. Let's dive in. Whoa, it feels like a marshmallow or a cloud. I squeezed the clumps together, but it was definitely looking dry, so... I'm gonna add in a bit more shaving cream. After I kneaded that in, it was clear that I needed some lotion to actually make it moist. It sounded like it sharded. You guys, listen to the sizzles. After a good amount of kneading, here's what we're left with. It's a super buttery clay slime that is like slightly fluffy and it is really holdable and spreadable. I honestly wish I scented the slime like lavender. You can even get in a couple pokes. I've got some aesthetic ads on to add on to our slime. With these flakes and these purple stars. This slime is definitely not the stretchy type. However, I caught this clip when I was stretching it super slow. I'd rate this recipe an 8.5 out of 10. If you do choose to make this one, make sure to get an airtight container because the slime dries fast. Let's check out this next recipe. This video has gotten over 12 million views on YouTube, so this recipe must be good. So this recipe makes a thick and stretchy slime. Okay, so we need a sticky note. Just rub your eraser along the sticky side until the sticky stuff or adhesive comes off. This works very well with tape that isn't too sticky, such as this masking tape. And then you end up with some bubblegum looking stuff, which is slime. This recipe calls for erasers, so I have different colors over here. And then we also need some sticky notes. Okay, let's open these up. I ripped. Just like my heart. Oh wait, this is one massive sticky note. Nah, screw the yellow one. Purple is better anyways. Denied. For this, we just need one sticky note. Comment down below which color you think our slime will turn out. Let's get scrubbing. We're already forming little shreds. I kept rubbing for a long time. However, my shreds weren't like long enough or slimy enough, so they would not stick together. I am not one to give up, so I decided to rub the eraser on this sticky adhesive. The rainbow eraser was really not having it, so I switched over to the pink erasers. The pink one was also not that good, so I switched over to my most expensive eraser, the high polymer eraser. This was honestly a great way to relieve my anger because I had to rub really hard. Yo, I think we're getting something. You guys, we definitely got something. I brought the yellow sticky notes back because it looks like we're gonna be needing them. This combo is definitely working out already 10 times better. Okay, let's check it out. <gasps> Yo, it's actually working! Now we need this times 30 so that it's big enough to play with. <laughs> That's too easy. Let's make this process a bit quicker by using masking tape. <laughs> to 
maximize the amount of slime, I'm mixing both of our pieces of slime together. I even brought the shovel to scrape all of that creamy stuff. So satisfying. 2,000 years later. After about 30 minutes of scrubbing and my finger being sore, here's what we're left with. It kind of has like a butter texture. It was actually quite stretchy because of the glue and the tape, and it reminded me of cloud slime. It's definitely great for molding. We even made a swirl. For the ultimate test, can it erase though? It's actually erasing. Ah! Let's try it on the S. It is a little hard to hold though. No way, it actually works. Look at that. This is perfect for back to school and you can probably even make this in school. But does this recipe work? Yes. However, it is definitely not worth your time and your hands. I would have to rate this recipe a six out of 10. Now for the moment you guys have been all waiting for the results of the shampoo and salt slime. Three hours later. Let's head to the freezer. <laughs> okay, moment of truth you guys. Okay, it's still pink. Why are there scissors? Whatever. Let's take this thing outside. <gasps> you guys, it looks promising. You guys, look, there's a thick squirrel. Um, okay, it definitely pokes. However, it feels more of a jelly texture and my fingers don't really leave an indent in the slime. I can fold the slime on top of itself, which is an important slime property, but it definitely doesn't have the exact consistency. I could also already feel the slime melting in my hands, so I don't know how long this thing can last. But hey, this slime is a pro at jiggling. And making weird noises. It looks like a blobfish. Every time I would try to pick up the slime, it would literally just fall out of my hand so I could not pick it up. I'm gonna take out with two hands. It's already turning back into shampoo. You guys, it literally melts instantly on your hands. I'd say this recipe is a fail. It only lasts for like five minutes maximum. I'm dripping slime everywhere. I would have to rate the slime recipe a four out of 10. Definitely not worth the hype. Right over here are all the slimes that we made today and the medal of the best no glue slime recipe goes to the lavender cornstarch recipe was the sexiest. Here's a mini bonus clip for you guys. Revealing a one year old return slime package. I had no idea what slime was inside because of how old it was. The order date was from June 12th of last year from California. And the slime that they ordered no longer exists in my shop too. The slime was called Mixed Fruit Jelly. It looked super liquidy. It looks like it's completely melted. I added in some activator to reactivate it. This was actually pretty satisfying. The slime smelled like a delicious fruit salad. The slime was so stretchy that it could stretch to your house. What do y'all say? Should we bring her back to the shop? On the screen are today's shout outs. Thank y'all so much for your comments and your support. If you'd also like a shout out, all I have to do is subscribe, turn your notifications on, and be the first 20 people to comment hashtag chillfication squad once you've done that. I love y'all so much. See you in my next video.